We're staying with news from Germany and a story of justice achieved decades later. A 95-year-old former paramedic at the Nazi death camp Auschwitz will go on trial in Germany next month on charges of being an accessory to the murder of more than 3,600 people. Hubert Z, whose last name is being withheld, was a sergeant in the Nazi SS at Auschwitz, during which at least 14 14 deportation trains arrived at the extermination camp. Among the prisoners on the trains was the teenage diarist Anne Frank and her family. And I'm joined now on the phone by Ephraim Zurov, chief Nazi hunters at the Simon Wiesenthal Center and the head of its Israel office. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Good evening. Well, we know that the German court says that Hubert Z, as they're calling him, is not accused of being involved in any killings, but that he was aware of the camp's function as a facility for mass murder. Tell us why, despite his role and his well-advanced age, it's important to you that he faces trial. First of all, I think it's important to remind our viewers <clears throat> that the passage of time in no way diminishes the guilt of the killers, that old age shouldn't protect people who were involved in the killing operation. And uh, we owe it to the victims of the Nazis that an effort be made to hold the people who turned them, innocent men, women, and children, into victims accountable. Yes. Do you uh, feel that uh, this could bring a sense of, if I, I dare not say uh, victory, but maybe a sense of justice achieved after all these years? Listen, there's no question that there is a measure of justice being achieved. There is, for some people, a measure of closure. For others, closure is impossible. But it, I think it also sends a very powerful message that even today, uh, we're trying to bring the Nazis to justice. And that's uh, part of the message of the significance of those crimes and their heinous nature. So imagine for a minute if we were to say that uh, all, prosecution, all prosecution of Nazis should stop. Every single Nazi who's still alive, and believe me, there are a lot more than people imagine, would breathe an enormous sigh of relief and could die in peace and tranquility, knowing that they'd never be brought to justice. Yes, a powerful story and still an open wound, certainly in Israel. Ephraim Zurov joining us from Jerusalem. Thank you very much for being with us tonight.